Hello, I'm Robin Vincent and welcome to this very quick Surface session. I've been trying to sort out a problem I've had with the Surface Pro 2017 for the last few days. I've been testing performance and polyphony within Native Instruments Contact. I want to play things straight away from the keyboard, playing live, live performance. I've got a, a lovely large Alicia Keys piano and some uh, session strings, pro violins all coming in and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful and it's wonderful and I love it and it's great and lots of people ask about playing live performance and playing instruments and using the Surface Pro 2017 as a source of virtual instruments and sounds in gigs, in performance, in concerts, in that kind of thing. That's what I've been testing out for the last couple of days but I hit this issue where I kept getting these little glitches, little very annoying background glitches just every now and again. I couldn't seem to replicate it. I could do all sorts of performance on here, smash the keys around and I couldn't force the issue. And then I would play a single note and bang, there it was. It was very frustrating. I went through every single tweak in the thing. I turned things off, I disable things in the device manager, went through the whole lot on off, everything, test, retest, retest, hours. My fingers are killing me from all of the playing but I couldn't resolve it. I changed audio interface. Same problem. And then I changed to a different USB hub because Surface Pro only has a single USB socket in the side. So if you're running a MIDI keyboard on USB and an audio interface on USB, you need to use a hub. So I changed to a powered hub, one I've got up here, plugged it in, suddenly it was all fine. Hmm. So maybe it's to do with the hub. The hub I was using was this one, which is a passive hub, unpowered. You just plug it in and the surface powers it. I had both plugged into here, plugged into the side, and I'd be getting these glitches. When I moved to the powered hub, the glitches disappeared. So I thought it must be something to do with a passively powered hub. So. I tried another order interface, same problem. Tried another order interface, same problem. Tried the Surface Dock, the lovely chunky two brick dock. And that seemed to be fine as well, which brought me again back to my hub. So the conclusion that I drew was that a passive hub is not gonna be any good for the Surface Pro 2017 and that you're gonna to have to use a powered hub. Now there seems to be some kind of sense in that because you can think, oh, well, a powered hub is gonna smooth out that data flow. It's just gonna, you know, it's going to increase the stability of data going in and out of the computer. So that makes some kind of sense. So I've just spent all day making a video about this issue and demonstrating that with a passive hub, it clicks. With a powered hub, it's fine. And that's what I was going to share. However, when I came to the end of that video, making a video, it suddenly occurred to me that I really need to try another USB 2 hub. Now, sadly, I don't have one. I don't have one, but I do have, or well, at least the closest I could get was this, which is a, a Logic Keyboard keyboard, which happens to have a USB hub built in. So I was able to plug both the MIDI keyboard in one end and my audio interface in the other, and it played fine. So suddenly my entire theory that a powered USB hub is the only way to go was completely thrown out of the air, because this isn't powered, it's just plugged in to here. That's all it does, it's plugged in, takes its power from the socket, and it works completely fine. The audio interface works completely fine. There's no audio glitching, there's no clicking, there's no popping, there's no problem as far as I can see. So what can I conclude? Well, all I can really conclude is that this is buggered. This little USB hub that I've had for years, knocking around, probably trodden on it a number of times. It's been in a drawer. Pulled it out because I thought it'd be simpler. And I have been doing other testing with this and I haven't noticed an issue. All I can say is that with this plugged in, I'm getting some clicks. With the other hubs plugged in, with the Surface Dock plugged in, with the passively powered keyboard hub plugged in, no clicks no problem. It works beautifully. So the lesson that I can learn from this, that we can all learn from this, is that sometimes it's just a faulty piece of gear. 
that you can run around for hours trying to sort out what the issue is, trying to tweak, trying to uncover, to A, B things, to test and retest, and it's just a flippin' faulty cable. It's like my, uh, my MIDI cable here as well that I was using to connect this to the K-Mix. That seems to be also faulty. Sometimes it just doesn't work. And, you know, I lost another hour to try and troubleshoot that to find out that if I waggle the cable, then it does work. These are things we always must remember as music technologists, as people into gear. You always have to check your cables, check your gear, double check, swap something out in order to sort out and troubleshoot bits and pieces and issues. So, just to summarise then, I had a bit of trouble with contact. Seems it's my USB hub that was the problem. I'm going to throw this away. No more problems. Great. So I'm going to get on with my performance testing. I can now put this to one side and continue with working out what on earth is going on in contact because it's working beautifully. I can stack up all sorts of instruments, loads of strings in the Session Strings Pro and piano and other bits and pieces, and it's handling it beautifully at amazingly low latency as well. I'm putting everything on the lowest latency and it's performing great. So that's good news, and I'm going to bring a full report of that very, very soon in my big performance video thing. I should have that done next week, with a bit of luck. So that's an annoying excursion into areas which I didn't hope to go, but never mind. I've learned something. I've been reminded about how you need to always check your gear. So that's good. Panic over. Don't worry. It's all working really well. More details to follow. And in the meantime, go and make some tunes.